Most Canadians live in a dozen major cities. Jay sometimes talks about the other Canada. There's Vermilion, Alberta, there's Humboldt, Saskatchewan. Jay is in the car and he's visiting. And it may be a house concert, it may be the village hall. That's how he does it. And I'm touring Canada constantly. I'm living out there to anywhere from 150 to 200 shows a year. We turn Jesus into Elvis, who turn records into bread. And now we work the world for profits, now that our king is dead. From the Vatican to Graceland, playing in one chord, singing gospel numbers in the name of the Lord. We all love the king who crucified him too. Love me tender, baby, I'm only passing through. The songs are real. They're about people and places and things that we can recognize. The story he wrote about Don Cherry, who is now sort of a lightning rod of of conflicting opinions, you know. And he found something human about somebody who lost his wife and went, oh God, what do I do now? And when Ian Tyson heard it, Ian writes his own material and doesn't need anybody else's, but somehow heard that and recorded it. Said I was a tough man. I had mouths to I want to switch over to the political at this moment. Okay. Politics influences so much of what we do in our day to day without maybe acknowledging it. I think we're dealing with symbols. Most of what we get, we have 0% of the truth of what's really going on. I have no idea what's, what's really going on. All I can deal with are the symbols that are given to me and force fed to me through the major media networks every day. And it's my, my role is to interpret them as best I can on feeling. So somebody will say, well, how dare you write a song about an individual that you don't know? And my answer to that is, I'm only writing symbolically about the persona of the person that's fed to me through the media. Taught me how to kill a man they taught me how to use the sand until they found this bloody mess on the desert floor. A casualty of war. So honey, take the kids, catch the train. I'm not going to be your ball and chain. Shelter them from all this pain before they're forced to feel my war. Now you can stick your drill in every hole You rape the land, feed your soul And you some down an hour like me to Try to force democracy on the third world poor On the third world poor With your precious war It's warm Rootsy. David Baxter is a producer who leaves a lot of heart in the music. It's been beautiful, actually. It's been um, really quite easy to do. He has really great songs. He was really well prepared. Uh, we're not dressing them up a whole lot. Um, we actually just sat, with he and a bass player that I right here with no headphones on and just played with all the mics open. I'd like to have a concert in a small local theater, which might hold about 100 people. Don't advertise it. You're not allowed to take pictures. You're not allowed to do anything. And you had to be there to see the event. 
And I think some of that's going to kind of come around. You know? Yeah. But like television never killed theater. So the internet will never kill the live experience of music either. Do you think I'm going to love you anyway? Do you think I'm going to love you anyway? Do your thing, I'm going to love you anyway. It sure is hard to develop as, a, as an artist in a country that has trouble discovering its own sense of culture and its own culture. But every society does develop its tuning forks. It's points of reference, and I think Jay Amar pretty much is one of those Canadian tuning forks. I think he's brilliant. An artist who I call an honest journeyman of music. She said, take the stance of a soldier now. Prepare yourself for the fight. When the battle commences, sing with all your might. Sing for the innocent victims crying alone in the night. Sing them from their hopelessness. Sing them into the light. That's what she said to me. Last night inside my dream She gave me this creed A poet in need Out on the echoing green 